Hello everyone and welcome to Learning with Jelly. So today we are on lesson three, our introductory to SQL series, and we're going to talk about the where statement. So this statement is gonna be very useful for when you wanna subset your data based off of multiple conditions. So let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't checked out my lesson one and my lesson two, lesson one goes over on how to import the database that you see on the right-hand side of my screen. So how to get this database actually within SQLite. So that's what lesson one is all about. And lesson two is the select statement. So since these are in chronological order, I highly, highly recommend that you go back and look at lesson one and lesson two, and I'll have the link in the description. So let's get started with the where statement. So the where statement is evaluated before the select clause, okay? So this where clause is going to be evaluated before that select clause. And we went over select clauses in the previous lesson. So we're gonna jump right in to an example. And we're going to select these two columns from the invoice table for totals that are greater than five. So when I'm in SQLite, make sure that you go up here to the tippy top and you have databases check mark. And you can just drag that database over to the left-hand side of your screen. That way you can always refer to the tables that are in the database and their corresponding column names. So it looks like I wanna use the invoice table for this. And I see that the invoice table has nine columns. And when I expand the invoice table, I see that it has customer ID in total. So it wants me to select these two. So I'm gonna say select customer ID, and that is one word in my drop down menu, comma, total. And then it wants me to do from the invoice table. So I'm gonna call the database name, which is Chinook. The database is right here. And I'm gonna say dot invoice. And then, let me just expand this out a little bit. I'm going to do my where clause. So I'm going to say where total is greater than five. And then I'm going to put my semicolon. So the semicolon always goes after the last clause that you type. I can also hit this little text thing and it's going to format it in some nice pretty text. So as you can see, it has all my indents, my capitalizations, things of that nature. Okay. So when I run this, and I actually just can hit run, I don't have to highlight, I see that it selected the customer ID, and I only see totals that are greater than five in my second column. So it looked like this query worked. So that is the first example of a where clause, okay? And keep in mind that it's actually going to go through and evaluate this clause first before it actually selects these columns, okay? So let's look at another example. We want to select all columns from the genre table where the genre is rock, okay? So in this case, in lesson two, we learned how we need to denote when we want to select all columns. And that's just with the asterisk, okay? And it says it wants us to select it from the genre table. So let's collapse invoice and let's open up genre and it has two columns genre id and name and if i didn't know whether rock was in the genre id or name column i can just the first thing i can do is just go ahead and just print off everything run it and i see that the actual name of rock is in the name column so now I know what column to subset. So I'm going to say where name equals to rock. And since rock is a character, I'm going to put that in single quotes. Once again, I'm going to text it up so it looks nice and pretty. And I'm going to run that. And now I see that the name rock and its corresponding genre ID is outputted. So this is an example where you want to actually use the where clause to subset for a character or a name versus a numeric expression, okay? And we have the answer here in the PowerPoint as well. 
So let's move on to these like operators. And I think I want to zoom in so that you can see this because I love this slide. So let me zoom in. And you see, and it might not let me, but you, I'll put the link to this table in the description. But these where clauses, when added with like, do different things. So if you use the keyword like, you can do a letter followed by a percent sign, and it's gonna return all values that start with A. If you have the A after the percent sign, it's gonna return all values that end with A. And if you have OR in between two percent signs, it's gonna look for that pattern anywhere in the variable, and it's going to return that pattern and then so forth, so forth. So we're gonna look at an example of using where in the like operator. Okay, so this says select title and hire date for all managerial titles in the employee table. So I'm just going to hit enter and start a new query. I'm gonna keep this query up here for us. And once again, I'm gonna do the select statement and I'm going to expand the employee table so I can see the actual name of the columns. And I'm going to select title and hire date. And then I'm going to do from the name of the database dot with table I'm in. And it looks like I'm in the employee table. And then I'm going to do where title like. And then I want to do the percent sign and put manager, close percent colon. So that's going to be anywhere in the query. I want to see where the title is like manager, okay? So then, and let me just expand this window some. I can run this second query. And I see that I'm returning the title and hire date of all the managers. So for instance, manager starts a little bit later after general and IT manager starts a little bit sooner, right? Compared to the other two titles as well. So it's gonna return all managers regardless if manager was in the front, middle or at the end of the name. So that is how I can get all managers in my employee data set. Maybe I want to do a performance eval on the managers. Maybe I want to see when I have hired the managers recently to see if there's more managers that are needed, things of that nature. So now we are going to move on to the next table, the next example. And it wants us to select ID and state from the customer table for all states that start with A. So we, once again, we're gonna collapse employee and go into the customer table. And we're gonna use that same state column that we did in the previous examples in the lesson two. And I wanna put select customer ID, comma state. And then I'm gonna do from the name of the database dot the name of the table, which is the customer table. And then I'm going to put where state like, and then I'm going to, it has to start with A. So I'm going to do A followed by a percent, and I'm going to end the last clause with a semicolon, okay? So this is going to say, hey, as long as it starts with A, it can have anything else after it, okay? So when I run this, I see that there's two states that's actually in my customer table. So I have customers for Arizona and Alabama. No Arkansas here. So that's how I use these like operators along with my where clause. So the next thing that we're gonna be able to do is look at multiple conditions, right? So if I wanna subset my data based off of multiple conditions, within one where clause. So in this example, I wanna select the manager whose employee ID is three from the employee table 
And I'm only curious in looking at those four columns, employee ID, title, hire date, and state. So the first thing I'm going to do is do my select. And once again, we're going to type in the columns that we need to select. So it's employee ID, title, looks like it is hire date, and state. And I'm going to do that from the name of the database dot table. So it told me that the table was employee. And then I'm going to do where title like, once again, I want all my managers, no matter where it is. So I'm going to do like manager and employee ID equals three. So in this case, I have two conditions, right? I have where the title is like manager and the employee ID is like three, okay? Let's make it all nice and pretty once again. And then I can run this. Let's make sure from our employee table that we actually have everything. So we have employee ID equal three, employee ID title hire date from Chinook.employee. And are there not any employee IDs that start with three? Let's see. Oh, where title is not like manager. That was the keyword. So there's no managers with employee ID equal three. So there we go. All right. So the employee ID equal three is our sales support agent, right? So that was just key for us to figure out that it was not like the manager title. All right. So just an ambiguous question. But this is how we're able to do multiple conditions within one statement. I'm checking the title and I'm also checking the employee ID. That is a quick overview of the where statement. So once again, the where clause is evaluated before the select clause. You can have a mathematical expression in your where clause. You can look for patterns of characters in your where clause. And you also can use the like operator to look for things that start with a certain pattern ends with a certain pattern or contains a certain pattern, kind of like regular expressions, okay? And you also can have multiple conditions in one where clause. So thanks for tuning in with lesson three. Lesson four is gonna come up very quickly. Please look in the description if you need the database, that's gonna be in lesson one. And lesson two is gonna go over the select statement. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And thank you for tuning in with Learning with Jelly. Bye-bye.